Hey guys, it's Dana with Fabulous Style and I have a thrift haul for you. Um, been finding a lot of shoes lately, hardly any clothes. The one clothing item that I have to show you is this cashmere um, sweater. This is like a hoodie style sweater and I was so excited to find this because I love cashmere sweaters. They're so comfortable. I love this style, like the hoodie style. Um, the problem, I checked this over so good when I went to buy it, I noticed it was missing the drawstring in the hood, which was fine with me, but it wasn't until I got home that I, I noticed that it has two little tiny holes right there. So since they're tiny, I might try to kind of darn them from the back side. Um, I don't know. I need to look and see if I can find cashmere yarn because see if it would blend in a little bit better. But anyway, that's my clothing item. My other thing that is sort of thrifted is this uh, bag that I bought. I saw on Instagram, this. there's a company called Jump From Paper, and they make these bags that look kind of cartoonish, and I just think they're so adorable and just fun. So I was looking on, I think I bought this off of Mercari. I've been selling things on the Mercari app and I have a balance on there. So now I've just been buying stuff instead of taking the cash. So I thought this was really cute. This is not that brand. This is inspired by that brand. Um, I, there's no brand that I can find on this, but it looks much like, if they have a website, Jump From Paper. Um, so you can see all the different styles that they make. But this one I thought was really cute, a little satchel looking bag and it has the crossbody strap. So I thought it'd be cute, kind of a little novelty thing um, to, to, uh, to use. But it is, is an actual bag. It opens up and there's a pocket here and then a big pocket here. And it actually unzips in the bottom to open it up so that you can fit more stuff in there that's not a pocket and then on the back there's a little zipper pocket so but it's in great shape I don't think it was really used that much it's just kind of like a fun little thing to <laughs> to use here and there so I wanted to pick one up just because I've never seen them before um, which is recently saw it on Instagram so that's my other my thrifted thing that I bought online um, everything else I've gotten in thrift stores recently uh, this was a super exciting find. I just got out all my boots from storage. I went over them with leather cleaner conditioner and kind of went through. I had a pair of brown boots and had a wedge heel and they just had too much wear on them and they weren't comfortable so I got rid of them. And so I've been looking for some brown boots so I was so excited to find these. They're so cute. Um, they have this kind of a button looking detail and a scallop along here. And then these buckles open up so that you can adjust um, the shank here, how wide it is. But they zip up in the inside. They're from BP, which is a Nordstrom brand. And they're in really great shape. I mean, they have hardly any wear on them at all. They're about a half size too big for me, but that's okay because I like to wear socks with boots. And yeah, I was super excited to find those. They were $12.99. Got those yesterday, I think, two days ago. Um, another thing I found at the same store that I've been finding at that same Goodwill, so I think the same person donated a whole bunch of them, or maybe even Nordstrom, ah, maybe even Nordstrom Rack did. Um, but these, these do have a little bit of wear. They're Paul Green. <laughs> So, of course, I thought of Ilana from Thrifter by Design. I think she has this exact pair. Um, and these are a size 7 for Paul Green. So, I guess they're a 9.5 women's. Um, but they're just a cool little booty. They have an open toe. And then they've got kind of a cutout design here. And a nice heel, but there's a platform. So, the heel isn't really all that high. And, of course, they they don't they're not my size. So... Someday I will find some Paul Greens, but they do, I think they run a little narrow and I need a wider shoe. So anyway, was excited to find those and I'll be listing these probably on Mercari. And 
Ah, or I'll do these other women's shoes. Uh, I found these Toms last week. These are kind of a chambray, denim -y fabric, um, wedge heels. These are a size seven in women's, um, little open toe wedges. So I think these would still work for fall, definitely, and then can put them away and bring them back out in spring. So I may, I may go ahead and list these now or just wait till spring. Um, and I'll probably wait till spring for this pair. Oh, those, if you want to know prices, the Paul Green shoes were $9.99. The Toms, I think those were $8.99. These were $6.99. These little coach, kind of a wooden wedge sandal. They have an ankle strap. They're in pretty good shape. They're kind of a little bit scuffed up, you know, here on this wooden part. So I'm all, um, See if I can, you know, spiff them up. But they have a cute little pink bow and they're the brown CC. These are, I think these are a size seven or seven and a half. Betsy is, they're seven and a half. Betsy is the style. And I'll probably list those in the spring. Um, another pair, I don't know if I've shown these before. Um, I've had them for a really long time and they looked pretty terrible. I got them just dirt cheap, but I've been watching, it's Hadrian, his um, handbag rehabs. So I've been doing the same thing kind of with my shoes. With my own shoes, when I switched out my summer to winter stuff, I took the black leather dye and I fixed up on Instagram. I have an Instagram account that's called Fabulous Style Gal and I'll try I'll link it under the video. I'm gonna try to put more stuff on there but I had gone through and kind of really fixed up a few things and so um, these are one of them. I accidentally when I ordered the Angelus black leather dye I accidentally got the suede dye <laughs> so then I also ordered the leather dye but um, these are suede and they were very faded and scuffed. I mean, they were really bad. They actually probably need to be go gone over one more time um, with the dye. But these are Gucci pumps. They have this beautiful little buckle thing on the front here. And um, I fixed them up using that suede dye. So um, did that, fixed up my dance goes that I wear all the time and the toes were looking horrible. So um, that's a really great way. I'm gonna try to do that, especially when I change out seasons, like condition all my shoes and stuff, get them so that they don't dry out in storage or that when they're fresh, new, you know, starting to wear them again, they look good. Cause I have not been good about doing that. Um, they have some men's things. Um, this is kind of a mock crocodile a long leather wallet and I just really liked this it's not really worth a whole lot um, I don't know how many men actually wear use these longer wallets that usually they put in their coat pocket um, this one is from Sevjing I don't know how to say that but it has like nowhere in it at all so I just I thought it was really cool so I picked it up and then this one is a Bosca Sadler it says Sadler by Bosca and it's a travel wallet it actually has a spot it says passport right in here um, so you could put your airline tickets your passports and then it has this little flap that will come out of here and like keep things from sliding back out and then it does, has it the same side over here I suppose if you put some cash money in there then you could put the flap over it so that it um, stays secure and then well this whole top opens up and then it has this interesting um, piece to it this snaps on but then it's it's solid leather on the back and then in here it has a spot where this is open almost like a, le a luggage tag I'm not sure what you would put right here some sort of an identification card or something. So if you know what this is for, because this does not, the, the snap doesn't snap on to anything else. 
it's literally meant to just kept be kept in here so I don't know that's like for some kind of ID it's too big for a driver's license so I don't know and it's not a luggage tag so it wouldn't attach to a piece of luggage so I'm not sure what that's for um, if you have any ideas let me know uh, but I thought I bought it because it's so incredibly soft and this was like three dollars at the assistance league that wallet I think that was $2.99 the other one so probably the same day that I bought that wallet I got two pairs of men's shoes these uh, are boots these are Cole Haan they still sell these um, online they have hardly any wear to them at all I forget what the name of the boot is I already have them listed on eBay these are a nine and a half men's um, Cole Haan boots and they're waterproof they're like a really really nice boot so got those I think I paid 15 for these and then they also had this pair of Bally just all oh, butter soft leather these are have a little bit more wear to them they were stuffed really well to kind of get the creases out of them they zip on the inside they have the little tiny Bally um, logo plate right there and uh, they're style flex by Bally they're 12 D for in men's just ultra ultra soft boot another thing I bought that I've never seen a scarf like whoops that's upside down I believe this scarf is of a tiger it's actually quite beautiful it's a really nice silk scarf it has the hand rolled plump hand rolled hem that is um, curled to the front and and uh, sewn and it's by Abercrombie and Fitch and I looked this up these scarves were made I think sometime in the 80s early 90s um, and I think Abercrombie and Fitch has probably kind of changed through the years like who who they're uh, who they sell to because they today just I don't know this isn't something you'd find in an Abercrombie and Fitch <laughs> store we had one here in town we don't anymore they left um, so anyway beautiful scarf then they they did a bunch of animal print ones um, that you could find on eBay then I found kind of had like a week where I found white purses <laughs> so I found this white coach purse and it's in pretty good shape I did go over it I undid the buckle um, it has a snap closure, but I undid this and I went over it with leather conditioner and I don't know I might get like a um, There's they sell them for tennis shoes like leather white leather Just stuff to kind of brighten it up brighten up the white I don't know if it actually has any kind of dye in it or not, but it's in really good shape It just doesn't have its little hang tag, but other than that it's nice and clean inside and there's no real wear, it's just that the white leather itself kind of gets a dinginess to it over time. So I'll save that for spring. I also found this coach bag. This was not in very, this was like so dirty, but it was only $6. I think that coach bag down there, I think, I want to say I paid $8.99 for that. This one was $6 at another little thrift store. I bought it mostly because I love this big yellow coach hang tag. <laughs> I just think it's cool. Um, but it was it was dirty, so I just threw it in. I took the tag off, and I threw it in the washing machine and then let it air dry, and it came out pretty good. It still has a couple stains on it. I know there's one. Like on the bottom, there's some branch staining right there, and then there's a stain right here. Um, that's pretty light. I mean, I I think somebody would want it. I can sell it for, you know, not too much. Just as a cute little summer bag. And um, so I'll wait till spring and list that cute little thing. Then I found this bag. Um, this, I, it's such soft leather. This brown leather and then white. And it's in really good shape. Um, the corners, the bottoms, everything looks really good on it. It has like a pale blue silk lining in here and the brand. 
is M. Adonia. Andonia. <laughs> I'll show it to you up there. I have just, since I've cleaned it, it's gotten a little bit dirty, so I need to go back over it um, with the leather cleaner. But I'll probably save this again, you know, till spring to list, but it's oh, so soft. And then this, my other white purse, I might keep this. I would, I would love this in another color. So I don't know if this would be worth trying to dye, because I'm not really sure how they dye leather white. It seems to be different than other leather dye. Maybe I'll ask Hadrian about that. <laughs> But this has a nice long um, crossbody with this cool chain detail. And I don't know, it's got these extra little loops. I guess you could maybe move the chain up there if you wanted. But it's just cool. This is a, yeah, it's a Tahari um, bag. Just butter soft leather. And if actually for being white, it's in really good shape. And it is really clean. So I'm going to wait and till next summer and I will use this bag <laughs> maybe just for a little while in the heat of the summer it was $8.99 and actually I want to say I think this might have been half price because I noticed nobody really looks at the white bags there's they have when you walk into the Goodwill where this was at they have everything by color and the white bags are like up in the corner where the carts are and there's always a ton of them there, and it's like nobody ever looks at them. So, um, anyway, especially not this time of year. But it's really nice and clean inside, and it's just kind of cool because it has like a magnetic closure at the top. And I never take the time to zip my bags closed. So I think this is really nice, and it's big. And I can wear it as a shoulder bag. I'm really not much of a crossbody um, bag person, so... Yeah, so I was kind of excited to find that. Wait till next summer. And then, oh yeah, I bought this a while back and was it, it was 25% off. Um, this is a Willis bag. I think it's Willis or it might be the station. I need to look up, um, co it's a coach, vintage coach bag, has its tag, has the crossbody strap. They had this exact same bag in brown with no strap um so but it's in great shape the corners look really nice got this pocket back here sometimes it's just cool to carry a, co a vintage coach bag so i may keep this i don't know i have another vintage coach that's a big tote and i love i love that bag and um so anyway not a nice pocket there, but I paid, it was $24.99, but then it was 25% off. So however much that is, like seven, eight, seventeen, eighteen dollars $18, something like that is what I paid for it. But I've been, I love vintage coach bags and I've, they're starting to kind of get more popular. I think people are looking for them. So, so I got that. And then just a few more things at one of the thrift stores that I go to on Tuesday. I bought these two pair of Toms and they both, I don't think either of them have really been worn at all. So I haven't, I don't really buy Toms too much anymore unless they're in really good condition. They were $5 each. They're both a size eight, um, but I'll probably sell them. So I don't know if I would end up wearing them. I'm not, I don't really like flat, flat shoes. So got those. And, oh yeah, I also bought, even though they're not in good shape, but I bought them. In fact, I thought that the zipper was broken on one of these. These are some wedge boots, brown, got that red stripe on the bottom. They're Prada. They say Prada right there. And then, see, but they do definitely have wear. They, the heels really show the wear. And then also, I'm not exactly sure how to clean um, suede, so I need to look that up and really, you know, make sure I do it right. It says Prada on the tag here and, of course, inside the boot. 
Um, but one of these, I thought the zipper was broken until I really looked inside of it and it's like the inside where the zipper zips up, the leather has torn and so it's kind of open. So it just catches on the zipper. So they priced these at $8. And the lady, they're six and a half, size six and a half. The lady that um, always tries to show me <laughs> um, the nicer brand stuff when I go in there, she noticed that these were Prada. And she's like, oh, she said, these should have been marked like $60. And I said, well, the zipper is kind of, you know, I said, it's they're not in good shape. And the zipper is really hard to zip up. And they need, I said, they're they're not in the best of shape. And she just kind of looks at me and she goes, well, you got a really great deal. So if I can fix them up, <laughs> yeah, there, I, it was a good deal. Um, so only other things. Oh, I bought two magazines there, Allure. And then this one is called Oaks. I don't know. It's, it says Sa Saks Fifth Avenue at the bottom. So is it their own magazine? I've never heard of it, Oaks. Like an ups, half of it's upside down. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I'll look through that. Oh yeah, and inside here, there's a necklace. This is I bought this because it's super nice leather. This tote bag, purse, whatever you want to call it. There's a no tag inside, and they wanted eight dollars for it. And then uh, finally, I found on the side here is a tag that says Ellington, which it seems like most of the Ellington things that I've seen before are like a business type totes and things. So this may have been made um, as a business tote, or just actually, I guess I have seen purses that are Ellington. But this is a nice. Um, really nice bag, tote bag, um, super nice leather. So I went ahead and picked that up. I may, I may keep it, I may try to sell it, I don't know. Um, I do have quite a few tote bags. <laughs> um, and then this was hanging on a mannequin. I just thought it was really cute. It was only $3.75. This gold, gold necklace, and then down here it has kind of like a round rope looking thing, and then these, three little ropes hanging down, kind of a tassel type thing. It was, they had it hanging on a mannequin, but I thought that would be really cute with just a plain top, you know, under a jacket or a sweater. So, um, so that is the last thing. There's actually one more purse I'm eyeing over there, but I'll wait and show that in my next thrift haul. Um, yeah, that's it. So, Thank you so much for watching to the end and please subscribe to my videos because I do post them on a regular basis, just like once every three weeks or so. So I will be back and um, I really appreciate you watching and I hope you have a great time thrifting out there too. <laughs> Bye.